Can you crack the code? Can you create a code that can't be cracked? It's time to play Mastermind. Codemaker versus Codebreaker. Mastermind is a game where two players assume the roles of Codemaker and Codebreaker. One sets a secret code, while the other tries to match the code using logic, deduction, and maybe even a little bit of luck. After each move, the Codemaker must give clues that help the Codebreaker. Can you crack the code in 10 moves or less? And can you come up with a code that will last for 10 moves? First, let's decide which player will be the code maker and which will be the code breaker, and also decide how many games you will play. Place the board between you so that the code shield faces the code maker. The code maker secretly places any four code pegs in the code area and conceals them with the code shield. The code maker can use any combination of colors, including two or more of the same color. The code breaker places four code pegs in the first row of holes, attempting to duplicate the exact order and positions of the secret code. The code maker places key pegs in the keyholes of the first row as follows. A red key peg for each code peg that's the right color and in the right position. A white key peg for each code peg that's the right color but not in the right position. No key pegs indicate a color is not used in the code. The code maker should not put the key pegs in any particular order. It's part of the challenge for the code breaker to figure out which key pegs correspond to which code pegs. The code breaker should remember that one key peg corresponds to one code peg, and a red key peg takes precedence over a white one. All the pegs are left in position throughout the game until the secret code is broken. The code breaker keeps placing rows of code pegs and keeps getting feedback from the code maker until he guesses the code exactly. When this happens, the code maker places four red key pegs and reveals a secret code. The code maker gets one point for each row of pegs played by the code breaker, and players switch roles. If the code breaker can show that the code maker has given wrong information, the game is replayed and the code breaker gets three points. If all ten rows are used and the code has not been broken, the game is over and the code maker gets 11 points, 10 points plus one bonus point. The players now switch roles. The player with the most points after playing the agreed amount of games is the winner. Have fun playing Mastermind.